This is the uh, Williams designed uh, Formula E battery for the Formula E racing series. Um, it's capable of getting a car up to 150 miles an hour. Um, it will last approximately 20 minutes, which is the, uh, the race durations. In total, with the safety cell, it's about well, it's over 300 kilos. So yes, it's a, it's a significant amount of the weight of the car. Williams has been designing its own KERS system for its Formula One racing car for the last two, three years. Um, and plus, we've also done work with some major OEMs um, on things like the hypercar and the much publicised CX-75. So Williams designed, developed a battery for that. And, and the Formula E battery is very much a building on that experience um, to constantly improve the way we build things. Williams was quite late to the programme. Um, we started the programme in about uh, June uh, 2013 and um, uh, so during all that time we were designing, testing, developing. Um, so manufacturing started around the end of uh, March. There were a number of challenges that we had to start off with. We have a very tight package which we have to fit a lot of uh, battery cells into and that's, that's been a very big challenge. The specific thing that we've, uh, we've done with this battery is we have a, a, a master control system that looks at the voltage and the temperature of every single cell that we have in there. And what that's doing is constantly monitoring the battery to see if there's anything unusual happening. And then the, the, the BMS, the, the battery master system, the brain of the, of the battery has the chance then to manage that. It'll either shut the battery down, it'll limit the power, etc. So uh, everything has been uh, that can possibly be considered has, has been thought about with, with, with a, a view to reducing any chances of, um, of, of, of runaway incidents. Obviously materials we use um, are specifically selected for their mechanical properties and thermal properties because the thermal management of the battery is extremely important. Um, uh, plus, obviously, because this is a racing application, we're constantly looking and evaluating whether uh, we can uh, use lighter materials, etc., to reduce the overall weight. We've run a number of tests on the on the battery, and we were the first company that did an FIA-controlled uh, uh, successful crash test on this battery. So um, that's both front and back, and there's also been a lot of work done on side impacts, etc. as well. So yes, uh, trying as best as possible to look at race scenarios um, with a view to uh, ensuring that the battery um, will always be, remain in a safe condition. It'll be interesting to see whether Formula E ever deviates away from the conventional single-seater layout to something that's more akin perhaps to how electric vehicles for the road might develop. What one can think of how they might use uh, regenerative uh, braking on the front axle as opposed to just the rear axle and, and things like that and perhaps changing the way the aerodynamics work that's more applicable to, to ele an electric vehicle. Technical regulations for next year are quite tight, so that there won't be any major deviation from from the, the chassis layout we currently have. It's really only the the propulsion system that's really open for development next year. So um, we could expect to see different um, electric motors being used, uh, and certainly Williams are very interested in, in battery development and. Uh, seeing how we could get a little bit more out of the battery given the current regulations from the FIA state a maximum weight of, of uh, electric cells, battery cells that we can use. But even with that restriction we still think there's possibly some, some uh, improvements that can be made to the battery we have today on the basis that it was, it was designed and developed in such, such a short period of time. And now that we've actually seen how the battery is used in the car I think there's, 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 some, there's some improvements we can put in there. That's, that's pretty exciting for us. So we, uh, we look forward to get, having the opportunity to, to develop batteries with, with, alongside some, some uh, partners within the series.